harvest season is here for pecan farmers. Experts with Texas A&M AgriLife say this year we'll have fewer pecans on trees than usual. But one Central Texas farmer is seeing the opposite after turning to science to save his orchard. KXN's Eric Hendrickson explores how this farm is transforming the industry. This part of Texas is the native homeland of the pecan. Along the banks of the San Marcos River in Caldwell County, ancient pecan trees. This one here, for instance, might be 300 years old. Troy Swift, a former boat designer and whitewater rafter, became a first generation farmer after retirement, only to struggle with his planted orchard. I had a group of trees that started to die, and I was farming the way I was taught and I asked the scientists to come look at it and I said, what's wrong with these trees? Scientists told Troy to look at his soil health. That's when he discovered regenerative farming. We're trying to regenerate the soil by, by letting it live and promoting that life. Troy avoids mowing, lets animals graze, and uses limited chemicals, letting his planted orchard grow similar to the native trees on his property. I think a lot of the management practices over time will show that the less inputs or strategic inputs that you have um, will increase your biodiversity. Scientists with the Nobel Research Institute are in the middle of a six-year study of these farming practices, taking soil samples to answer key questions. Are you improving your soil health over time? And does that lead to um, healthier soil, healthier tree to healthier nuts? Soil samples on Troy's farm are used in their research. Yes, this is a biological test of how much biology lives in the soil. Troy says he uses this data to get results. And there's our first pecan of the season right there. For Troy, restoring the land is more than just selling pecans. If we can make, make a nice biodiverse ecosystem here where, where everything that's supposed to be here wants to live here, then they're just like me because I want to live here too. Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News. And the Research Institute study also looks at traditional farms. They independently take soil samples every few months, and the study will finish in 2028. For a little insight into the economic impact of the pecan industry, the U.S. is second to the largest global pro producer, which is Mexico, bringing in more than half a billion dollars every year, providing around 15,000 jobs. And Texas production alone is worth more than $200 million. What creates competition between the U.S. and Mexico is our larger domestic market and infrastructure, while Mexico is at a cost advantage by offering lower prices.